Hello Aries, welcome to a bonus love reading. This is going to be a how they feel about you bonus reading. We're going to be looking at what they're thinking or feeling about you and what are their next actions going to be. As always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries watching. So check out your playlist. It'll be linked in the description box for more videos for your sign. And let's jump right in, Spirit Angels, guys. Tell us more about the person that Aries is thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Aries or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling for Aries? Okay, we have the Seven of Coin. The Ace of Coin. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Aries? And the Nine of Swords. Doubt, fear over commitment, over a new opportunity. This could be an offer that they extend to you, but they don't know how it's going to go is what I'm seeing here so far. Let's clarify. Tell me about this Seven of Coin. All of the decks that I'm using, by the way, are linked in the description box. Six of Coin. So they're, they're wanting to give you something here. Maybe Restore Balance. Let's see. Tell me more about this Seven of Coin. Seven of Wands. There may be resistance on your part here. Tell me more about the seven of coin. Ten of cups. And then the bottom of the deck, the five of swords and the eight of cups. Interesting. Well, I feel like whatever this doubt is related to, it's probably because something hasn't gone quite right um, maybe they haven't been fair to you in the connection maybe they left the connection maybe they deceived you or there's been some sort of conflict here and so now i feel they are having doubts over whether you will hear them out take them back etc we'll see we'll see when we get into this a little bit more let me get one more for the six of coin. Can I get one more spare for this six of coin? The world. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody that wants to start over or have a, a, a new opportunity here. Yep, justice. Okay, so this person is taking their time setting things in motion perhaps here to restore balance. Libra energy. So what's with this Ace of Coin? Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's almost like when they come to bring you this offer, Aries, they think that you're going to be very hard to speak to or maybe you'll be tough on them or not ready to listen to any BS. <laughs> Tell me more about this Ace of Coin. Maybe you're not interested any, anymore. Maybe you are completely cold to this idea. We have the Ace of Wands and then the Seven of Cups. Um, so perhaps you're going to be thinking about it. Let's see. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Knight of Swords. And judgment yeah I feel like um, maybe this offer will come in a bit quickly and it might take you I don't know like I don't think it will necessarily surprise you because I don't feel the Queen of Swords is surprised by anything but I feel like you're gonna 
you're going to be thinking that you have to make a decision here and you, you want to make the right one. You've learned from your past mistakes here. This person could be wanting a second chance because I have judgment. Tell me about judgment. Oops. Oh, there we have the five of swords. Yeah. Tell me about judgment. So I feel like this is somebody that after whatever happened between you, they want to come back in. No, we have the Empress. Now they recognize your worth. Uh, now they see that you have something to offer, something special about you. Um, maybe they want to just grow with you, with the world. The Empress have something new here. But this person is scared. This could also be somebody that is feeling remorse, guilt. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. Yep, the Five of Cups. They are regretting um, what happened. Yep, Ten of Wands. So your person has been struggling with whatever happened between you. I have the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, so it could have been some sort of ending, separation between you. Um, tell me more about this person's energies. I feel like maybe they had a part to play in what happened and maybe feeling uh, regret over their past actions. I feel like they've been carrying this. Tell me more about this person's energies. Spirit, tell me more about this person's energies. Budding romance, new love romance courtship. Romance is in the air. Can I get one more? For this person's energy. True love, love union coming together. The connection between you is genuine and true. And what's this one that popped up? Patiently waiting. You know, this person, I feel like um, they have a lot of love feelings for you. Um, they will wait and be patient and, you know, do what it takes. <laughs> I feel like they do want a new, tr a new try here, a second chance here. It's like they're patiently waiting for you to accept them or to, I don't know, patiently waiting for you to forgive them. Can I get one more card about what this person is thinking or feeling about Aries? I'm heartbroken. Yeah, this person's just heartbroken over what happened. They might have lost you. Bottom of the deck, I just stopped shuffling randomly and I have I screwed up at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like that's pretty clear. So what is this person's next actions going to be other than begging? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I do feel like that's probably what they wish they could do though. But with that Queen of Swords, I wouldn't, I would not advise them to do that. I don't think you are in the, in the mind frame of listening to someone beg okay so let's see what are their next actions going to be towards Aries or this connection spirit what are their next actions going to be towards Aries or this connection we have the page of swords what are their next actions going to be towards Aries or this connection Six of Wands. I feel like yeah, they're gonna they're gonna probably want to talk, reach out. Um, I'm getting that they're watching you in in this in in this spread right here. Um, I'm just getting someone that's kind of observing you doing well, observing you succeeding, um, or just admiring you from afar. Can I get some insight into this Page of Swords? Wow, the tower, page of wands. So this might be a surprise to you. Um, let 
like a message that comes in and changes everything or a message that I mean it's, it's a tower with a page of wands guys I mean there's only one way to really interpret that <laughs> let's get one more just because I'm curious Can I get one more for this page of swords, please? No. Can I get one more for this page of swords? The Emperor, well, there you are, Aries. Showing up to your own reading. I think this is someone, yeah, and I see the strength card at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is someone who's literally taking matters into their own hands, trying to make this happen. They could just be surprising you here as well, communicating with you, reaching out to you. Maybe they're waiting for the right time to do that. Now with this six of wands, I feel like I don't know, you might be doing extra well here, doing you, taking care of your business. Maybe you're on social media, yeah, working, building. And then here comes this person. Yep, Knight of Wands. You're like going after what you are passionate about what inspires you, you're motivated, working hard. Um, and I feel like this person's seeing that and it's almost like they can't stay away. <laughs> they can't stay away, they care about you, they love you, they're heartbroken over what happened and they're gonna at least try to contact you. And I feel like it's very funny because these are pages and then you're over here, I feel like you're this emperor energy or the empress energy from the previous spread, the knight of wands, um, six of wands. Like I feel like you are leveling up or in another level and they're kind of trying to get there. I don't know if they'll make it. <laughs> you let me know in the comments, but that's what I have for you, Aries. Hopefully this bonus reading resonated for you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing or leaving me a comment. It's a free way of supporting the channel and I love interacting with you guys. Um, let me know if this is someone that you would take back. <laughs> I don't know if at this point, I don't know. I, this might surprise you just because you can't believe this person's guts. <laughs> you let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. All of the information about my personal readings, my book, Love Tarot Made Easy, the decks that I've designed and the decks that I use, all of that is in the description box. So check it out there if you want more information about me and what I do. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.